Let us look at the five things you should do in the paper to ensure that you get a good score in quant. The first step that you should always remember, the first thing you should remember is they have 40 minutes and 12 to 13 questions approximately 40 marks are good enough for 99 percentile and 30 marks typically based on the past are good enough for something like a 90 percentile. So when you're looking at this paper, please remember 50 percent attempt is a very good attempt. You don't have to attempt all the questions. The time is not sufficient to do all the 22 odd questions. So please choose the questions carefully. Attempt only what you know. Now, let's come to the second step. Given that you need to attempt fewer questions, just make sure you keep attempting only the easy questions. Your job is not to attempt difficult questions. A difficult question will take more time. A difficult question, you are liable to make a mistake. So if you have a mistake, time by baat karoge, koi fayda nahi hoga. You get the same marks whether you do the question in 2 minutes or 20 minutes or 2 seconds. So your job, please remember, is to attempt only the easy questions, questions that you know. What about the difficult questions? That is the next step. Any question which you think is difficult, you can't handle, you don't understand, please leave that question. Asan sawal karna hai, iska matlab ye bhi hai. You are not going to look at any of the difficult questions. And the most important rule to follow is, when in doubt, leave. Malum nahi hai ki asan hai ki mushkil hai, chhod do. If you have time in then you can always go back to those questions. So there will be some questions which you can easily say are easy, you will do them. There are some questions that say they are difficult, you will not do them. But a large number of questions will fall in the middle. Lagta hai ho jayega, lagin hoga nahi. Ya malum nahi hoga ki nahi. Those are the questions, you keep it in the end. After you've done all the easy questions, go back to those medium questions and now you can look at them. Otherwise, even if you are not able to solve any medium question, you don't need easy question, it is perfectly fine as far as I am concerned in getting a good score in quant. One of the biggest mistakes which is done by people in this paper is they want to work fast so that they can attempt larger number of questions. Okay? And, and, and what, they, what that means is you end up missing out data. So please remember from my point of view, from your point of view, the one of the most important things to remember in these papers, the fourth tip is please do not try to save time in reading the question or in answering the question or in making the so calculations. If you can't calculate orally, please write down. If you have not understood this question in reading the first time, read it once more. After that, if you don't understand, leave it. But my, my point is, if you try to read fast, you will miss out on crucial data. If you, if you start calculating fast, if you start working fast, you'll start making mistakes. Don't do it. It is perfectly fine to do about three minutes per question without any problem in this paper. Now, the last tip. Whatever I might say, there can always be a chance that you have a wrong question. After you've started solving the question about one, one and a half minute down the line, you don't understand what is happening. You are not sure of the way forward. Leave it and move on. Galti ho gai, koi baat nahi. Don't, don't waste more time on the question that you are not sure of. So if you have made a mistake of picking up a question which you are not comfortable with, the moment you realize, please leave it and move on to the next question. Don't worry about the fact that ek minute lag gaya, aur lagane pe kuch I am sure you know nahi aata hai. So which is what you need to remember. So please remember these five tips and hopefully you will have a paper to your liking and you will have a good score in CAT.